What lies within that guard? Just thinking, of course, it's way through your veins. Truth serum. I call it undisputed truth. Twice as strong as sodium pentothal, with no druggy after Except for a slight wane of euphoria. Euphoria? euphoria? Yeah. No. Too bad. As you know, I'm quite keen on comic books. Especially the ones about superheroes. I find the whole mythology surrounding superheroes fascinating. Take my favorite superhero, Superman. Not a great comic book, not particularly well drawn. Mm. <sighs> mythology. A mythology is not only great, it's unique. How long does this shift take to go into effect? About two minutes. Just long enough for me to finish my point. Now, the staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. It is in that characteristic that Superman stands alone. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born in Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. His outfit with the big red S. That's blanket he was wrapped in as a baby and the Kent's found it. Those are his clothes. What Kent wears, the glasses, the business suit, that's the costume. That's the costume that Superman wears. Clark Kent is how Superman views it. And what are the characteristics of Clark Kent? He's weak. He's unsure of himself. He's a coward. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. It's all like Beatrix Kiddo, this is Tommy Plimpton. Ah, so, the point emerges. He would have worn the costume of Marlon Plimpton. And you were born Beatrix Kiddo. And every morning when you woke up, it still be Beatrix Kiddo. Oh, you can take a meal out. Are you calling me a superhero? I'm calling you a killer. Natural born killer. Always have been. Always have been. In El Paso, working in a used record store. Yeah, that's you trying to bring me up high. But you're not a worker bee. You're a renegade killer. Nothing ever changed. Once Gus contacts the boy, is that right? He orders it to search the upper space. Relationships suddenly seem very much the same. 
prettiest girl in school. He's still the prettiest girl in the school. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, Clark. Lana! Hi. Well, hi, I, I was just, just thinking about you. Oh, um, listen, I, uh, I have a problem with Ricky. Why? What's wrong? What happened to Ricky? Well, it's the autograph you got him from Superman. He got really carried away after that and told the other kids that Superman's even coming to visit him for his birthday next Wednesday. Okay, it was wrong, but when Wednesday comes and Superman doesn't show up, it's just gonna... Well, Lana, in this case, I think I can go ahead and speak for Superman. I mean, he and I are pretty close, you know? And you can tell Ricky that Superman will be there on Wednesday, all right? Well, he's going to get the best home-cooked meal he's had in, in a long time. You tell him everything is wonderful. All right. Good point. Oh, my And I'll take it to the Supreme Court if I have to. But it wasn't our fault. It was an act of God. In a church? Is that compound you ordered? Can't imagine what you want with it. But you got it. Too much happened, what the hell am I afraid for? I'm from Earth. You know, Lana, I really wasn't expecting all that. I just think you'd be able to carry it.
Thank you very much, General. It's very nice. Thank you. Christopher Reeve at his home in upstate New York. Can I ask you a question you've been asked millions of times? Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? What happened that day that you broke your um, I think I just I didn't pay attention. You survived the worst possible neck injury. Yes, that's what's called a hang. Hangman's injury. Yeah. This is what happens when they drop you through the trap door and then they got uh, cut down and you know, say, hey, good luck. Have a nice day, honey. 
Superman again one day? No. No, and even if I'd never been injured. Um, I was the custodian of that part in the 70s and 80s. But it's a part that should be reinvented every generation. When a man with your fight, when a man with your fight, so. chunk of uh... kryptonite don't you see that stuff we ran up in the lab wasn't a complete failure after all 
right after Gus gave it to him, he started to turn into an ornery, evil, malicious, self, a normal person. Yes. And now that Superman is out of the nice guy business, we can get to work on that oil. <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic unity. Tell them these orders are irreversible. 